Hey guys, Jamie from Tech Century, and today I'm going to show you how to transfer music from your iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad to iTunes. To do this, we're going to need, to need a piece of software called iExplorer. To get this, we want to head on over to our internet browser and go to www.macroplanet.com forward slash iExplorer. There'll be a link in the description. Once here, we'll come to this page. We want to click on the download button and it'll say we we'll start downloading. It should save to your downloads folder if you're on Chrome or wherever your downloads folder is for any other web browser. So once downloaded, we want to head on over to that file and run it. Click run. You'll need to allow Windows 7 access. From here, we want to choose our language. So, obviously, I'm going to choose English. Next, we want to accept the licensing terms and choose where you would like to install it. So, the default location is quite fine. Um, this is quite optional. This is for something completely different. It's just install some codecs into your computer to allow you to mount it in Windows Explorer. So it's then we want to choose next and next and install it. And we want to launch it. Once we get to this screen, you want to hit continue in demo mode. So then you will need to connect your device via a USB cable. So as you can hear, I've just inserted mine. And we'll just wait for that to load up. Okay, so once we're on this screen, you want to head over to media on the left hand side and in here you want to scroll down to right at the bottom and there should be a folder called iTunes control so open that folder and in here you should get a folder called music and inside of that folder will be all these coded mp3s or whatever format they are that your iPod reads from music so basically we want to go back into the iTunes control folder and right click on the music folder and go export to folder in here you want to locate somewhere where you're going to keep all your music for iTunes so I'm going to choose the music folder and my music and you're going to click OK and it's going to start saying down in the bottom left hand corner right here loading and copying and it will copy all your music into the music folder so I'm going to come back once that's done So when iExplorer has finished transferring all your music onto your folder, you want to open up iTunes and the location of where you saved those files to. And basically all you need to do is drag the folder that you saved it to into iTunes and it will automatically start processing all your music back into iTunes. So that is it for my tutorial on how to transfer music from your iPod back to iTunes. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button and subscribe. If you have any suggestions on how to do better in my videos or any suggestions on what you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you. Bye.